In this video, we discuss how character sets such as ASCII and Unicode are used to represent text. We already understand that everything stored in a computer system is stored in binary, those zeros and ones that represent just two states. This means that all data, including the characters you type on the keyboard and the emojis you send in text messages, must all have their own binary codes. If each character was represented by only one binary digit, then it would mean we could only store two possible characters, perhaps A and B. If we had two bits for each character, then we could store four possible characters, because 00, 0 might be A, 01B, 10C, and 11D. Given that there are 26 letters in our alphabet, this means that we need five bits as a minimum, which will allow us up to 32 characters. We can express the number of bits to characters mathematically. For example, two to the power of five equals 32. That's because binary is base two, there are two possibilities for each bit, 0 or 1, and to the power of 5 because there are 5 bits. This means the number of unique binary combinations for 5 bits is 32, as each character must have its own unique code. This determines the number of bits needed to store all the characters in a set. We call this a character set, a defined list of characters recognized by the computer hardware and software, and each character represented by a number. Of course, there are more than 26 characters we want to be able to store. There are both upper and lowercase letters, and that doubles the number of characters we need instantly. But there's also symbols such as pound signs, brackets, and punctuations. Therefore, we actually need a minimum of seven bits for each character. That is 128 unique binary numbers, 128 unique characters in the character set. It is important that every computer is using the same binary number to represent each character. For example, if my computer uses the code 01000001 to represent the capital letter A, then your computer must also recognize that same binary sequence as a capital letter A also. Therefore, character sets are agreed standards, an agreed way of numbering all the characters that computers use. In the early days of computer science, ASCII, or the American Standard Code for Information Interchange, became an accepted standard. ASCII was a seven bit character set. This means there were two to the power of seven combinations of bits, which is 128 different combinations. And therefore it identified 128 characters and their binary codes or deanery equivalents. This was extended to an 8-bit code called Extended ASCII, which provided for characters from some foreign languages and other useful graphical symbols. In 8 bits, we have 2 to the power of 8 combinations, and therefore 256 characters. In ASCII, the numbers 0 to 31 were reserved for special characters and instructions to the computer. So the recognizable part of the character set started with a space at number 32. Purely out of interest, character seven caused your computer to beep. This was before the days of sound cards. And character 13 was a new line character, which is why you often have to use commands like strip in programming when reading data from files to remove or strip these from the ends of lines of text.
Today, we have thousands of symbols we want to be able to store. We want a fully international and multilingual character set, which includes all the characters from every written language, historical scripts, plus more modern characters, such as emojis. These need to also conform to a standard, and this standard is known as Unicode or Universal Encoding. Unicode is implemented in slightly different ways for different purposes. For example, web pages may use a variant known as UTF-8, where the first eight bits are the same as ASCII, and the other characters are encoded with 32 bits. Unicode is now a 24-bit character set, and therefore we express those numbers in six-digit hexadecimal instead, to make it easier to refer to a particular character and their code. You may ask yourself the question that if Unicode contains every single possible character from every character set, and therefore ASCII is merely a subset of Unicode, then why don't we just use the Unicode character set all the time? Well, the answer simply comes down to how many bits it takes to encode or store each character in a character set. As was said, ASCII is typically a seven or eight bit character set, meaning each character in ASCII only takes that number of bits to store. Unicode, however, although there are many different variants, is a much larger character set, say 24 bits in size meaning that each single character takes many more bits in order to store it. This means the file size of both these files here is considerably different whether it's being stored in ASCII or Unicode. And if we don't need any of the additional characters available from Unicode, then we might as well save the file using ASCII encoding in order to reduce the file size. So let's just quickly recap. A character set is the defined list of characters recognized by the computer. Each character is represented by a unique binary number. Well-known character sets include the ASCII character set, the extended ASCII character set, and Unicode. 